All right, today we are doing Christopher Columbus. I try to make it more, I could, sometimes I do it more uh, challenging. This one's more of a simplistic Christopher Columbus. As you might know, Christopher Columbus was born in Italy, somewhere around, they don't know exactly, 1450 to 51, somewhere around there. They do know when he died, which was May 20th, 1506. All right, so we're gonna start with an oval. Get his head. So let's get an oval for his head. Sometimes I just go and I'll just do it a couple of times until I get that oval I like. Okay, slightly looking to the side, but not by much. And this is going to be where his eyes are. Okay, so we are going to start with the eyes on that line. We are going to put two little jelly beans. So we've got one jelly bean. And then we've got two jelly beans. Okay, and I put a little line across, boop, kind of like an eyelid. And for his nose, uh, we're gonna come down and give him kind of a fun nose here. He, they've described him as um, fair skin that he would burn easily which probably not good at sea. You could just, I could just see him always burnt. They didn't have sunscreen back then. So they must have always been burnt, you know? I don't know, what's, how did they avoid that? I, that? That's a good question. Maybe they had something back then that they used. Okay, this is his eyebrow in there. It's connecting, I connected it to his nose. So he was fair skinned. He had like reddish, brownish blonde hair, rosy, probably rosy cheeks from being burnt so much. Let's get this eyebrow in. And he, uh, his father was a wool weaver and owned, um, oh, what kind of stand was it? I can't remember. Oh, I didn't write that in. He, he owned some kind of different stand. Oh, now I can't even remember what it was. So I didn't write that down. Weep. Um, but he did the, the wool and he owned, was it a candle stand? Was it a, I can't remember what kind of stance his dad had. Okay, we can erase his center line. All right, now we're going to do a cute little like side smile. He was an adventurer. And we're going to give him a double. Like, kind of in his pictures, he has like a double chin. So we're just going with the double chin and the long hair versus this is going to be his neck. And we're gonna put his neck down here. Okay, let's do his hair. So he had some great, I don't know, it looked like curly, kind of curlyish hair. He must have a curly hair, because unless he curled it with a curling bone. Oh, so he's got this cute fluff of hair from the pictures I've seen. And then when we um, eventually color it, um, we'll put like the swirls in so it looks curly. And right by his eyebrow, we're going to put some side hair. Okay. He's got hair sticking out on both sides. And he's got some over on this side too. So it's like whoosh. He's wearing a great hat. Those hats. I, I miss the days of hat wearing, you know? Have some fun hats. Hats used to be very popular. Not anymore. Maybe you see a fedora. Now I'm just gonna erase a little bit right here so it looks like it's connected. So this is just like his under chubs, well chub chubs, he looks funny. Once you put his hat on, so it's almost like an A up here. So we're gonna go here and down. So it looks like a little mountain up there. What else do we know about him? Um, oh, he's the oldest of four brothers and three sisters. And when he was 14, he left school and he also left his father's wool workshop to be an apprentice at a merchant um, ship. There you go. A tr merchant trading ship. So we got his little fling up here. So kind of comes up like this on either side and whoosh. It's the style of the hat, baby. So we'll do this side. Whoosh. Fling it up down and then we're just gonna bring this out and in. And this is the back of his hat. Doop. 
Okay, super job. Let's finish off his clothes attire. So it's going to, did I make this go? I think I made it too low. So it's going to go down and up and somewhere around there. And he's wearing this awesome, it's very thick. It looked like a very thick cloak on top here. So I'm just going to add that to the cloak. And then he looked like that was like his white undershirt with a black. Okay, let's sharpie and then I'm going to show you guys how I colored it. Okay, I like to outline all of my drawings. So I'm gonna go around the outside and just give an extra rim. I just think it finishes it off. If you have any lines, you can um, erase them. Okay, now we've got skin color. He was pale, but you can color it all over just the peach color. I'm gonna do half of him, okay? So we're just gonna do that. Peachy, peachy, you can do the whole thing. I'm just gonna do half because I've already done this. So now I'm doing it again. Okay. If you want to go, sometimes I go another direction just to fill it in more. Okay, and now I'm going to give it a little bit more um, 3D look by going around the edges. We're going to do that with tan too. Of course, under here, the shadow under here. Under his nose, shadow, his mouth, chin shadow, way under here. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with my tan and we're gonna fill in the even more shadowy parts. When you're pressing down hard where you want to and then as you're getting, I'm just pressing lighter and lighter to have it kind of blend in nicely. And I'm gonna go under the chin. He said he kind of had a flat chin from what I read. Maybe I'll put him there. I'll put a little bit under his chin. Super drop. I'm going to go just around the edge a little bit to make it look more 3D. What else do I know? Um, yeah, I said that. Um, he had two. Oh, he did have two sons from two different mamas. Um, one was Diego and one was Fernando. Ooh, I love it. Columbus brought with him lots, oh, when he came to America, he brought with him lots of disease, I know. Because, uh, and then when he got to the New World, he actually thought he landed in India, in the, I mean, actually in the Indies. And so that's why he called the Indians, because he thought he was in the Indies. He's like, here I am. Um, and they said he was not the first to discover America. And of course the Indians were already there and other people have gone, they think before him, but I think he, two ways to look at it. He brought the most destruction or he brought a new way of living. So however you want to put it, I'm just doing the Vax baby, just the Vax. Now they did say he, get, he got burnt a lot because he was fair skinned. So I'm just giving him his rosy cheeks He's been out there in the weather a little too long. And what comes with cheeks? There's always some color on the nose. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the lips so he just doesn't look completely white. I also did with tan. I realized I just went down here and went Doo -doo 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 -doo, give him a little extra eye stuff. Now, they said his hair was like a reddish brown. Um, so we're gonna kinda add, we're gonna do a base coat of tan. Just base it so he has an under color. They said it had some gold and reds and brown. Look, the pictures look like it's brown, but 
we're gonna take the red and we're gonna give him his swirlies. I'm gonna come in here and gonna give him his fun swirls. And I'm gonna come in here with some yellow, which I do not have. So I would color some yellow in there and maybe some more brown. Do I have a yellow? Let me go find a yellow. I have a yellow. Yes, I do. Bada bing, bada bing. So we're gonna put some yellow in there, warm it up. And I might even actually put some light brown in there. Yellow, and I'm gonna get some light brown and put some red so it's like a shadow by the skin. It's more light brown. Probably even swirl that a little bit. It's light brown. Wow, he's one looking, one good looking chappy. No, not really. I don't know. The pictures I've seen now. Uh... Oh, here comes the sun. Sun is coming. Here comes the sun. Dun, dun, dun. Here comes the sun. Okay, so we're taking some. Light brown, I'm just gonna swirl that in there. And the eyebrows, brown. If you want an extra shadow underneath the chin, come in there with a light brown. A little shadow in here. Then I'm just gonna come in here with a regular brown. A little bit on the eyebrows. Give some eyebrows. And so what you're going to do is now do him this black, this black, and then do some blue here. And you guys got this. Hope it works out.